Hi, I'm going to show you how to do overlays, which is what you want to do, using video pad. And um, this is when you open it, it looks like this. You have two preview windows. Little preview window on the left is for the clip. So if you come down here, I'll show you in a minute. But if you have one, you just want to look at what's in the video track, you look here. If you have a video track and you're overlaying, you want to see them together, you look at the preview on the right. And that'll make sense in just a minute. I have already opened a couple of uh, films. I wanted to do one with a photo. Up here across the top, you have really easy to use buttons. Add media. Capture media. In other words, if you've got a video that's still inside your camera, use a USB cable, connect your camera to your computer, click this, and you can capture. Insert a blank. A blank is a uh, solid color frame, basically. Sometimes you want to use it for a place saver, or you want to have a blackout, and it doesn't last long enough, so you can insert a blank. You can narrate, add voiceover, work with subtitles. Preview is grayed out because we don't have anything in our tracks to preview yet. Save movie, options. Upgrade if you want to buy the full commercial one, and then a suite, which I guess is more than one program. I don't know. I've never clicked it because I don't want it. First thing when you open it, let's look at the options, general options. I just, in most cases, I use the defaults. Okay. Um, media files. This is the one you get to make some choices. Yeah, you get to choose the folders where you want your captured videos to go to. The folder, I just use my music folder to save any kind of voiceovers and narrations. And if I convert files, I want to save them in the video pad converted folder, which is made when you install the program. Save any snapshots you take. Sometimes you find a really nice frame in a clip. You want a picture of it. You can take a snapshot. Come over here and look using this little camera icon. So I want that saved in my pictures. Now formats. When you make a narration, do you want it saved as an MP3 or a WAV file? Um, do you want your audio tracks? You get to choose the, or you can just leave the defaults. If you're into MP3s and you know what settings to use, you can select the settings here for them. Snapshot resolution. I wanted my snapshot resolution to be the same as my frame size. I didn't want black bars to be on the, the edges or the top and the bottom of any pictures I put in there. So I just use a drop down and I pick 720 by the 1280p, which is what my videos are you generally in. Okay. Plug-in filters. Um, video pad. You can add more filters to it, more effects by using virtual dub filters, but you don't have to, uh, you don't have to worry about that right now. And then other, you can just kind of go through this and just look it over so you know where things are in case you need them. Um, I just use the defaults. Now you want to add media. Come back here. Just click the add media button. This is going to my videos. I want a picture. Oh, wait, let's go back. I have some pictures here. Ah, uh, let's just go to my pictures. On second thought, let's go back to videos simply because it won't be a frame size. Uh, dip, 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 dip. I have some Hummer hummingbird things there with some pictures I've already taken. I'll just use that one. I'll we'll use this one. Okay. Okay. Now, you'll notice there are long lines here. These are called tracks. You have your video track. That's your background. You have an overlay track. That's in front of your background. You have the audio track, which is the audio from your main video. And then you have two places to put music or narration. One in soundtrack one and soundtrack two. You just click and drag. I want my wildlife to be my in my video track. And I'm going to use this. And you just put it down here in your overlay track and snug it up against the side. There we go. That's got a progress bar. Now notice how small it is and right in the middle. Oh, I don't want it there and I want it bigger, right? Okay. Come over here, click on that overlay track, 
And all of your controls are right here. Here's your size slider. You can make it bigger. Opacity, if you want to, you can make it fade or bring it in. We don't need it fading. Um, here's your position. Put it in the middle, upper right, upper left, lower left, lower right. And then if you want to, there's a margin here, how close it is to the edge. I want a little bit closer over to this edge. Okay, so you click the one with the square with the two arrows coming out of it. Horizontal is a cross. Okay, I'm going to move that over a little bit. There we go. That's all you have to do to put an overlay. And when you preview it, the video I made underneath is playing while the background plays. Off. Instead of a video, what if I wanted to just put a photo there? Okay, that's easy enough to do. Right click, remove, put a JPEG photo here. I can put it right here. Also notice there's a plus sign. If I want to add this, I can just click it and add it from there. I can add text. Or I can add an image or a video. Text is nifty because it means I can put a caption there also. Hey, you notice my picture is a lot shorter than my video. Just click and drag it out to the length of your video. There you go. That's not so hard. Oops, I think I got it over a little bit too far here. Okay, let's bring it back to the beginning. And same thing, click on it to highlight it, give it a position, use the size slider, and then I can just play it. Okay. Now, this audio track for the main video, right click on it, you can fade it in, you can fade it out. You can adjust the volume. To, you can mute it, make it silent. Okay, and that's pretty much how you do an overlay. Now among, you'll see here you have, here's your waveform. The height of these is the volume. And they don't, you don't have many controls. This is a very simple program. Now you also have effects here you can add. That's a nice selection of effects. And like I said, you can add effects. They're made for another program called Virtual Dub. And you can load them using this little clickable. You have a nice selection of transitions. Okay, to put in between clips. Now, I don't have any in between here. Notice video track on here on the left of the video track. You can split it. You can add an effect from here. You can add transitions from here if you know their names. Okay. And you, if you don't like the timeline, let's see, making a slideshow, you can go into storyboard view. Now, for video, normally a timeline is used. Okay. And that's how you do that. I think that covered just about everything. And now you want to save it for a movie. Just click Save Movie. And you get some choices. Burn it to a disk, computer, put it on a portable device, create an image sequence. This would be a lot of images. In other words, take your video and turn it into still pictures. Upload it to the web or a stereoscopic 3D. Or if we just um, usually save it to the computer, give it a destination. If you don't know sh where you want to save it to, click on Browse. Ah, uh, I selected, you get a whole bunch, 720 HD, uh, YouTube widescreen, YouTube regular, um, PlayStation, uh, TV NTSC or TV PAL, and then custom, I just pick custom, then you get to pick the file type, I pick WMV. For this one, I know my videos are widescreen, so I picked the 720 by 1280. And 
if you live in the United States, um, and I think Mexico, I'm not sure, but I know United States, Japan, etc., you want NTSC for your frame rate, or you can even pick 30. 30 is only 300 off. And then if you know anything about codex, you can choose your codex here. I usually just use the, and then just click OK, and your movie is saved. And that's all it takes to do an overlay in VideoPad.